and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma. Behind the camera is Alex and today we are visiting the beautiful Jurassic Coast. A few weeks ago our van broke down whilst exploring the South Downs National Park. It's not cheap. We were hoping today was going to be a nice cheap day out in the countryside. It's not turned out that way. I'm pretty sure it's the gearbox that's gone. Luckily we don't need a whole new gearbox and it was actually the gear linkage bushing things and so that wasn't too expensive and we are now back in business. In this video we visit Dorset's Jurassic Coast to explore some of the must-see sites but first it's time to collect our newly fixed van. She lives! I'm so she happy! Lives. <laughs> it's funny just you know like when you haven't been home for a long time and you walk into your house and it has a certain smell I'm not saying the van stinks, <laughs> but it definitely has opposite. a certain homely smell to it, which I feel so happy that I'm sniffing <laughs> these lovely van fumes again. <laughs> With the van now back in action, we hit the road heading west, making our way over to the Jurassic Coast. No way! We, when we were looking at this area, Corfe Castle was one of the things that we wanted to come do. Did not expect to drive past it on the first day. Wow! Oh, look, an old train going across. A proper old one. It's good to be back in England. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's so pretty. I love how overgrown and like wild everything is. I can't even turn the, the camera off. Like, everything looks cool. <laughs> That has got to be one of the shittest slogans I've ever heard. What is the slogan? When you scan. We can. We can what? I don't know, it sounds like an Obama we can slogan. What? <laughs> Pigs! And a rabbit right there as well. Oh. This is when Emma tells me the impractical thing that she wants a pig. Every time she sees a pig, she's like, oh, can we have a pig? And I have to remind her about our lifestyle and how weird it'd be if we travel with a pig all the time. I love them and they're cute. And I want one. Really? I'm take it home. See, I told you. What? I, I always say, ask to take one home. And I have to explain the practicalities of traveling with a pig. <laughs> it's been a lifelong dream of mine to have a pet pig. You wouldn't deny me of a lifelong dream, would you? I've had a pet pig for about nine years. Mate! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Al, can we please just address to the people watching why it is that your face is so naked all of a sudden? <laughs> I decided I just wanted to mix it up and see what was underneath and then I forgot why I was covering it up. <laughs> and I have to wait until it comes back. I miss it. We're heading over there. They're there. Right behind me is Old Harry Rocks, which is one of the more well-known things to come and see in the South Coast. These rocks are essentially just big white cliffs in the, the shape of like a giant jigsaw piece. They're really cool to look at. And Old Harry is apparently the furthest rock out from the edge. And apparently he used to have a wife, but she crumbled off into the sea and left him. Which is weird, because usually women outlive men. That's true, but she was sick of his sh <laughs> and how was Harry named? Who is Harry? Well, legend has it he was named after an old pirate around the area. There are some other legends, but I've forgotten what they are. The devil? De after the devil. I have never heard the devil be called old Harry or Harry. Leave in the comments if you have, because I have no idea where that link is. Come to the end point here at Old Harry Rocks. Harry's chilling out behind me, and by the looks of things, you can actually walk along. You can actually walk along this ledge behind me and go a bit further down. But there is absolutely no way in hell I would ever walk down a footpath like that. <laughs> when you do it for the gram? No, definitely not. That is the worst reason <laughs> to do it. Thank you. 
I can't believe it. After years of searching on travel beans and banging on about it, I think I've just seen a bloody peregrine falcon. Yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely people in the comments that know better than me. Look at this footage. Is that a peregrine falcon? Because it's more of a silhouette, but it's got the cocked wings and it flies down like crazy. <laughs> in the same year that I've seen a kingfisher after searching for years, I've seen the peregrine falcon. This is a top place. It's hurting me that the camera won't show this. It's outrageous. I've never seen colors like this on a sunset before. It's like fluorescent orange and pink and purple. It's like the biggest sun ever. It's like an Africa sun. It is. <laughs> Disappointed that we couldn't truly capture the sunset as we saw it, we made our way to what turned out to be a very busy campsite nearby to pitch up before it got too dark. The following morning, we got an early start with the hope of avoiding the crowds at one of Dorset's most popular destinations. Whenever we looked at the photos online for Dirtle Door, all we saw were just masses of crowds. So we were a little bit concerned about turning up here too late. So we've packed up, left the campsite really early to get here for eight o'clock, which is when they open. And I think we've made the right choice because there's only about five other cars in there. Considering it's the peak of summer. Yeah. That's not so bad. Not so bad at all, especially because I would have thought there'd be loads of staycationers um, in the UK this year. So I thought it might even be busier than normal. And maybe it will later, but it's not now. And we haven't got there yet, so it could be still round somehow. Can <laughs> you can imagine? No cars in the car park. Go around the corner, there's <laughs> thousands of people on the beach. <laughs> with the green though. I know, it's oh. lush, so lush. And how clear that water is. I'm sure it's icy cold, <laughs> but it's clear. Now we're back in England, we have to convince ourselves we have nice beaches again oh, after yeah. Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's not hard to convince yourself when it no, looks like that. It is lush. I hate how these beaches in the UK kind of represent British people. Like kind of on the exterior, nice to look at. Inside, bitter and cold. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, that's pretty nice. <laughs> I feel like I've seen it. All the lovely photos look like this with nobody on the beach. We've actually come here and there's nobody on the beach. The peak of summer. How nice is this? All we needed was some overcast weather yeah. and wake up on godly hours. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. The colour of that water is something else. I know what you're thinking. Emma, that's just a rock with a hole in it. <laughs> They're kind of right. <laughs> kind of right. This is Dirtle Door, mate. What the hell's a Dirtle? The Dirtle Door. Well, Dirtle, I'll have you know, is Old English and it means drill. So actually, they're kind of right because there's a hole from the drill. I guess so. The Dirtle. What a word, <laughs> Dirtle. It's very satisfying to say. Everyone, three, two, one together. Dirtle. dirtle. <laughs> <laughs> so it's made out of limestone. It's not made, nobody made it. It's a limestone cliff that now has a hole in it <laughs> that we call Dirtle. <laughs> and we love to see it in the we south do. of England. We love it. It's actually kind of nice to have a couple of people down there just for reference of how massive this is. <laughs> because you can't really tell when there's no one down there. It's hard, like your um, perception's all kind of warped. But it's huge. <laughs> I find it really weird that it was only two weeks ago that we were in that villa in Thailand pinching ourselves that we were in Thailand again, absolutely on cloud nine. I feel just as excited today <laughs> as I did then. Sleeping in a busy campsite with kids screaming everywhere. Yeah, I love it. I think we're just very content people, aren't we? Like, yeah. I'm happy wherever I am. I just like exploring and seeing new things. I don't really care where it is. And I like complaining <laughs> wherever I am. <laughs> Just a 30 minute walk down the coast from Dirtle Door is another of Dorset's must-see spots. 
So this is the cove that we've come to see, Lulworth Cove, but really this is the thing you need to come and see. Lulworth's mate. <laughs> Especially down, the, down there with the little caves. It looks kind of so looks like cool. something like a grotto, like in Italy. Yeah! <laughs> Although if it was in Italy, you'd have to pay 30 euros to get a little, <laughs> a little boat out underneath so you could have a look. <laughs> this area was formed around the same time as the Alps with the clashing of the continents. And it's pretty cool to actually see behind all the layers of rock all kind of smushed and contorted behind me. And this is one of the best places in the world to study geology. I mean, it's pretty easy to see why. It's pretty easy to see why. I mean, the whole Jurassic Coast is fascinating. Due to the unique geology here, this area was granted UNESCO status for the 95 miles of coastline known as the Jurassic Coast. Lulworth Cove is located next to the village of West Lulworth and is a popular spot for walking, boat trips and water activities, such as kayaking or paddleboarding. As well as the activities on offer, if you are lucky, you might even spot some of the local wildlife before you leave. I am so glad we came when we did. Look at this traffic jam, <laughs> slow and steady, just flowing in. Yeah, what was it, like maximum five cars when we got here? Probably not even that, yeah. Like we were one of the first people to arrive. So yeah, if you're coming to Dirtle Doll, get here early. It's only or two else. hours later, yeah. two and a half hours later. Yeah, what time is it now? It's 11.20. What a way to end the day. <laughs> we had two choices. One was to go to Corf Castle, this lovely castle that when we looked into it, it looked extremely busy. So we decided to find some local delicacies. And we found that they have this thing called Blue Vinny, this blue cheese, which we picked up from a lovely farm shop. Yeah. Then they also have in Dorset, the Dorset Knob, which is a biscuit <laughs> which can be used with sweet things or savory things. So we thought, great, let's combine the two things. Cheesy Knob. So, we found the place that is the original place for the Dorset Knob. 45 minute drive we've just driven to Moore's famous Dorset Biscuits. We get in there and they don't have any of the bloody knobs. They're knobless. <laughs> They're knobless, we're knobless. And I've ended up buying things because it's so small inside that it's awkward if we didn't buy anything. So I bought two things that had nothing to do with bloody Dorset. <laughs> He's furious. Furious. I got some Devon chutney, some Devon fire Not chutney. Not from bloody Dorset. Nothing to do with the area. Probably lovely. And then again, some Moore's biscuits. They're knobless. Orange biscuits with chocolate. What's that got to do with anything? But the cheese at least. The cheese is from here. Yeah, but the cheese is stinking out the van. It's so stinky. <laughs> Bad. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> but I know I love blue cheese. <laughs> but you just have it on its own. You know, not I to put it on. He m would much prefer to nibble it off and off. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I mean, lovely blue cheese, but I wouldn't come to Dorset to eat the blue cheese because it just it tastes like nice blue cheese. You'd have everywhere. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good though. Yeah? Mm, yeah, I'm calming down. <laughs> <laughs> this biscuit better be bloody good. 45 minutes to have some of their famous biscuits. <laughs> I also hate that our channel is kind of big enough these days that it seems that companies see these videos. So like these guys will see it. And they'll think I'm angry. <laughs> I'm not that angry, guys. <laughs> it's good, but famous good. <laughs> I'm disappointed to drive in 45 minutes, let alone drive around the country to come in. Don't do it. <laughs> Two minutes later off camera, I'll tell me they're lovely. <laughs> and on that knobless note, it is time to end the video. If you enjoyed listening to a couple of knobs oh, and you nice. haven't subscribed, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Leave in the comments down below when was the last time that you went and drove out of your way to go and do or see something and were disappointed. Leave in the comments as well was it a peregrine falcon yes. and where did we miss in Dorset for a future video. Make sure you like the video and nothing left to say thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time and beans out!
Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a belter.